Good day students and welcome to a short tutorial on how to write uh, numbers, decimals to be specific in scientific notation. Okay? So before I start going over examples, I just want to write down a few things that you want to note, um, things you want to keep in mind when you're writing numbers in scientific notation. Okay? So let's write it down real quick. So a few things to note. Notes. Uh, first thing you want to note is the goal. What is the ultimate goal? When you want to write a number in scientific notation, the goal is um, number one. You want to ensure that ensure that you have only one digit uh, to the left of the decimal to the left. Of a decimal point, okay. The length of the decimal point. All right, that's the ultimate goal. But how how do you accomplish this? You can't just move decimal points all around the place. When you're moving decimal points, uh, you're changing the problem, so you have to compensate for that change. So you have to make moves here. So when you make moves either forward or backwards, you're gonna have to introduce the adjustment factor or an, or a uh, conversion factor. So these are the moves that you want to keep in mind. A move. A move um, of the decimal of the decimal to the front to the front this one move to the front introduces introduces 10 to the first power so anytime you you move a decimal point to the front you have to multiply by 10 to the 1 because what you're doing is you're you're you divided the number by 10 so you have to compensate by multiplying 10, so it cancels out, all right? Uh, number three, a move, just one move, a move of the decimal, of the decimal, um, uh, let me say one point, one place, oh boy, what am I writing? One place, um, one place to the back, you move, well, if you move a decimal point one place to the back, what you're doing is you just divide, you just uh, uh, multiply the number by 10. So to neutralize that multiplication, you have to introduce, you have to introduce times 10 to the negative 1. You know what this is? This is dividing by 10, okay? This is multiplying by 10, this is dividing by 10, because 10 to the negative 1, let me just put a note here, is the same thing as multiplying by 1 over 10, which is the same thing as uh, dividing by 10. So when you move the decimal point, place, point one place to the back, you multiply the number by 10. So to neutralize that multiplication, you have to introduce times 10 to the negative 1, all right, to neutralize that. And when you move it to the front, you divided the number by 10, so to neutralize that division, you have to multiply by 10, all right? So keep that in mind. All right, uh, let me give you a visual as to what on earth I just I, I just wrote about here. So let's say we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, if I have a decimal point here, this is the front right here. This is the front because it's the first number. Uh, let me change my color for that. Uh, this is my front. Let me write it in blue. Front is good, right? You want to be in front of the line so you can get what you want first. You don't have to wait. Uh, back is negative. Nobody wants to be at the back. Anyway, if I move the decimal point one place to the back, right here, I have just multiplied this number by 10. So to compensate for that, I have to multiply by 10 to the negative 1. One place is 10 to the negative 1. Um, if I, oh wait, there you go. 10 to the negative 1. If I, if I move it another place to the back, this is two places. If the decimal point goes over there, you know what that is? That is another times 10 to the negative 1. If I move it another place to the back, bam, all the way here, that's another times 10 to the negative 1. So what is the combined movement? So moving the decimal point three places back is times 10 to the negative 1, I mean negative 3, which is the same thing as uh, dividing by 1,000, okay? So moving it back, you're going to go times 10 to the negative 3 because this number here, I multiply the number by 1,000. 
So to neutralize it, I have to divide by 1,000, which is the same as times 10 to the negative 3. So just remember, when you're moving back, the power of the 10 becomes negative, negative, negative. If you're going forward, the opposite happens. One place to the front, uh, you just uh, divided this number by 10. So to neutralize that, you're going to go times 10 to the 1. And then one place to the one, another place to the front is going to be times 10 times 10 to the first. And then another place to the front, like that. I'm use a blue color. Another place to the front will be another uh, times 10 raised to the 1. Notice these powers are positive. So if I move it three places to the front, this whole move right here will be times 10 to the third, which is basically multiplying by 1,000. Because when I move the decimal point three places to the front, I divided the number by 1,000. So to compensate for that, I have to multiply by 10 to the third. OK? So that's what I mean by moves. So just remember your front and your back, the number of moves, and that goes to the power of the 10 that's introduced. OK? So I think we are now ready to actually try out some examples. The instruction for my examples are as follows. Uh, convert, convert uh, the following, uh, convert the following into scientific notation, scientific notation. Okay, number one, we have uh, 3.5 million. One, two, three. Okay, so now remember the rule is you need only one digit in front of the desk to the left of the decimal point. I have the decimal points is right here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's too much. I need only one. So where's the front of the number? This is the biggest number, so this is the front. Okay, so I'm going to be moving my decimal point to the front, which is a positive movement. Okay, so check this out. I'm going to go one. Two, three, four, five, six. Now, that takes me right to the place I want. I need only one digit, namely three, in front of the decimal. Okay, so I'm going to have 3.5. I can't just change 3.35 million, I mean 3.5 million into 3.5. It has to be something to compensate for this movement. This movement to the right is the same thing as dividing by. Um, uh, is divided by a number, namely a million. So to compensate for that, I'll just down here is going to be times 10 to the, I move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 units forward times 10, times 10 to the 6, positive 6. Okay? So when you go forward, your power is going to be positive. When you go backwards, it's negative. So it's going to be 3.5 times 10 to the positive 6. All right? So uh, this is like one million, basically. All right, six zeros. So there you have it. There is your answer. Okay. Uh, it's good to know why, but if you just follow the pattern, you don't really have to know why it works. But this explanation shows why we're introducing all these things. It's just to make, ensure that we're not changing the number. Okay. All right. Let's move on to number two. Similar problem. What if we have um, two hundred and forty-five thousand? Okay, the goal again is I need only one digit in front of the decimal, right? So where is my decimal point for this problem? Is right here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, that's too much. I need only one. So I need to move my decimal point how many places? Well, am I going front or back? Remember, this is the front of the number because this is the biggest number and this is the back of the number right here, okay? Please pay attention to your direction, okay? Back is negative, front is positive. When you move into the front, your exponent is going to have a positive value. So let's make the move. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bam, stop right there because you need one digit in front. Okay, so that's 2, so there goes your decimal. All right, so since I moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left, is as though I divided by by uh, 10,000, so I have to compensate that for that division by multiplying by 10 to the what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 to the 5th. 
which is 10,000. So this compensates for the move that I made. So my answer is going to be 2.45. This is a consequence of dividing by 10,000. To compensate for that, I'm going to put times 10 to the fifth. So this compensates for that move. So if I combine these together, I'll get that, all right? So this is your answer right here. Five units to the front, that's why I have 10 to the positive five over here, all right? Excellent, so there we have it. Now let's go ahead and try another example, number three. What if we had a situation? What if we had 0 0.00? 0, 0, 0, 7, 5, like this. Okay? Now, I want to convert this into scientific notation. Remember, I need only one digit to the left. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six digits behind. I have no digits to the left. Okay? So, we need to move the decimal point to the first, behind the first digit. Okay? So, how do we do that? We need to move our decimal point. One, two, three, four, five, six places. Okay, six places to the to the where? Now let's let's see our orientation. Um, this is the front. Remember, front is positive. Did we move to the front? No, we moved to the back. Okay, the back of the line. We moved to the back. Back is negative. So when you're going backwards, it's going to be negative. Okay. So what I just did is I moved it six places to the left one two three four five six so what i just did is basically i multiplied this number by a million all right so i have 7.5 i have to multiply this by a million so what can i do insert here to compensate for that move i just did since i went back six places i need to multiply by 10 to the six or a million to compensate for that move all right, so 7.5 times, ooh, negative 6, sorry. Note that when you're going back, you have a negative, all right? So I'm going to multiply by 10 to the negative 6, okay? Now, I'm going to box my answer, and I'll tell you what this answer means real quick. So this is what it means. When I moved it 6 units to the back, I multiplied by a million. To compensate by multiplying by a million, I have to divide by a million. 10 to the negative 6 multiply by 10 to the negative 6 is the same thing as is the same thing as dividing by 1 million okay so basically it cancels each other out and you have exactly what you have before all right so that just tells you why I'm doing what I'm doing okay uh, if you don't care about that just know that you go back one two three four five six since you went back six places you have 10 to the negative 6 here this minus indicates that you're going to the back and then you put that here and then you have your answer Okay? All right, let's try one last example. Number four. Number four. What if we have point zero 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 three two? Okay? Now I need only one digit to the left of my decimal. I have no digits, so I need to move this all the way to the right of three. So this becomes my one digit to the left. I need to get my orientation straight. Okay? This is the front of the number. This is a positive, going to the front, okay? And this is the back side. This is the back of the number. And if I'm going this direction, this is going to be minus, all right? So let's do this. I need only one digit to the left, so I'm going to go, ooh, wait, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Bam, stop right there. That's all the move I need, okay? Because I need one, only one digit in front, okay? So this becomes 3.2. Now, I just changed this really small number into a big number. How did I accomplish that? I multiplied by 10,000 or 10 to the fifth. Okay? So, oh yeah, I'm sorry. By multiply by 100,000 or 10 to the fifth. So I can't just multiply a number by 100,000. I have to compensate for that uh, multiplication. So to co compensate for going back, moving the decimal point five units to the left or to the back, I have to multiply by 10 to the what? Positive or negative? Negative five. Okay, because I multiplied by 100,000 to compensate for that multiplication, I have to divide by 100,000 or 10 to the negative fifth. So this becomes 3.2 times 10 to the negative fifth right here. There, okay? So remember that negative exponent is, is equivalent to, the, to division, okay? So multiplying by 10 to the negative fifth 
means I'm dividing by 100,000 to compensate for that move I just made. And there goes your answer. Let me just check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So thanks so much for uh, watching this presentation. Uh, please subscribe to my videos to help support the production of more videos just like this. Uh, and share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, Plus, so they can also learn. Um, and please feel free to request videos in the comments box. Uh, I'll be glad to uh, respond or make videos for you to address your needs. Uh, collection of clips can be found on madgoodserve.com. If you like this video, please click like down here if you didn't like it don't don't click anything just uh, post a comment or send me an email telling me what you didn't like uh so i can address it in subsequent videos okay thanks again and have a wonderful day